In this video, I'm gonna talk about the man that you never wanna be. Sharp Game coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationship.com off of Boss Life Secrets, which can be found on Amazon.com. So yeah, so, you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I always talk about a lot of traits, characteristics, of guys that you should be, you should acquire, but I never talk about the guys that you shouldn't be or you shouldn't become. I never talk about the things that turn women off. That's what this video is for. And before I get started, if you like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel by clicking the little bell below. That way when I come online or upload new content you won't miss out so one of the main type of guys that you should never be is the guys with bad social skills the guys that's inexperienced you know the type they're socially awkward they don't know what to say they don't know what to talk how to talk they can't have they can't hold a conversation with not only women, anybody. They, they're socially awkward, they're very timid. You, you can tell they wanna say something in certain situations, but they just won't say it because they're afraid what the, the other person might say. Um, they're just very anti-social. What has happened to a lot of these people, is that a lot of this has to do with how they grew, how they grew up. A lot of people grew up kind of sheltered. They grew up in, uh, some people say, hey, well, I'm, I'm shy and whatever. That's because either, usually, they grew up sheltered, away from kids, their parents kept them in the house, they never was around strangers, and or their parents told them, hey, just be quiet, don't say that. Um, you're, behave. You know, the parents kind of condition them to be a certain type of way. And then and a lot of times, they they face a lot of rejection while they were growing up too. So all throughout elementary, junior high, high school, maybe they face a lot of rejection. So then that's when, after a certain amount of time, that's when fear kicks in. And then as, as they become adults, they, take that same baggage along with them because it's been ingrained and conditioned within their minds and they haven't had a lot of successes under their belts so most people just can't let it go it can't let it go you know because a lot of people unfortunately never question what their parents did growing up to them doesn't matter how crazy outright stupid nonsense that the parents told them however they were trained they never questioned what their parents did oh yeah they might question what the dad did but they never questioned what mom did mom can do no wrong in most families and most cultures so i take the opposite approach you should question everything in any environment you should not give people or anybody any institution or any company the benefit of the doubt the benefit of the doubt because of what what evidence do you have to give anybody the benefit of the doubt so you should question anything until proven otherwise so that's the first thing inexperienced man the next thing is the bitter man you know the type that out that you know they're just mad, upset because of what happened to them, you know, in the past. Some of it stems from the childhood. Some of it probably stems from their experience while they were growing up. Some of some of it probably had to do with something that happened six months ago, a year or two ago. Maybe they had a divorce. Maybe they faced a lot of rejection. Maybe they had a lot of uh, failures. And a lot of these people, what I've learned, a lot of these people, 
They quit a lot. They quit too early. They start, quit, start, quit. They really have the loser's mentality. We see a lot of people um, uh, mediocre, and as soon as they... See, they had this perception where everything's supposed to be smooth sailing. Everything's supposed to be comfortable. But in the real world, it doesn't work like that. If you want to be on the top of your game, if you want to be great, there's going to be some type of discomfort, some type of pain, some type of struggle. Especially if you're learning something new for the first time. If you're learning something new for the first time, you're, you're not going to be perfect. You're going to fall and you have to motivate yourself to get back up. But see, most people are not like that. Most people have been raised to, hey, we, if you don't agree with me, well, you're just stupid. Or if you don't agree with me, well, we're, we're not compatible. If you No, you can agree to disagree and still get along. That doesn't mean that you're not compatible just because we don't agree on this one topic. No. In the real world, there's, there's going to be disagreements. You cannot run from any type of confrontation. It, that's a part of life. That's where your social skills and your critical thinking skills come into play. And your, and your communication skills come into play. And having em empathy and compassion for people come into play. But a lot of these people, they just don't understand that. They, they don't, I don't think a lot of these people have the mental capacity to really understand. So then they go into bitter mode. And, and, and they'll be talking about something that happened 25 years, 25, 30 years ago. They're still dwelling on the past. And that's holding them back from the future. That's holding them back from being in the present. Unfortunately. And the next thing I would say is the, the needy man. You know the type that they like to depend on women for their livelihood. You know, it's like they they can't go without a woman. If before they leave one woman, they gotta have the next woman ready in position. <laughs> or and they have to have a woman living with them. Can't, you know, that's like That's like, you know, they can't see you, see the world without a woman. You know, they can't go to bed by themselves. Even if they miss, even if they do go to bed by themselves, for one night, the next day they be calling that woman, hey, you coming over? Hey, you coming over? Hey, you coming over? It don't have to be just one woman, too. He, he might have two, three women in rotation. But he got to have a woman. He's got to have a woman, you know? You know, he's like always texting and calling women and and too dependent on women, these types of guys. You know, and women, unfortunately, take advantage of these guys because a lot of women look at it like, hey, he, he need me more than I need him. So, 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 so then it becomes a cycle of failure, a vicious cycle. You have two people that's basically using each other after a while. Because she's going to disrespect you because you're being needy. Because in essence, you're acting like one of her girlfriends. Sad but true. Now this is what happens when you're dependent on a woman too much. You're dependent on her for your livelihood. You're dependent on her for your Damn near, you're survival. In some cases, some guys can't do anything without a woman. That's not attractive. You know, if you want to become more attractive, you got to engage in the things that's productive, constructive. If your life is in order, if you're uh, the, the most productive man that you can be, the, the best man that you can be, and in at all times, that's that's very attractive to women. That's a turn on to a woman. 
But if that's not the case, the the the, the, the lack of disrespect yeah, is 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 coming eventually. You know, don't listen to these women. They'll say, no, uh, no, it's okay, whatever. You know, come on in. Um, I'll you can stay here. I'll take care of you until you get on your feet. And there's a clock. That, there's there's some conditions that come with that. <laughs> and a lot of guys stay with move in with women. That's their thing. There's conditions that come with that. She might be a control freak. You know. And the last thing I would say is the guys with a loser mentality. You know, it's kind of like they just can't get right. <laughs> it's, it's just like I said earlier they, a lot of these guys regardless of what they get into start quit start quit the first thing that they try to do first bump in the road first setback they throw in the towel I surrender I quit you know the guys that on some levels are kind of intimidated to be around guys that's that's doing better than them, guys that are smarter than them. A lot of these guys prefer to be around all women because they don't like being challenged by anybody else. It's like they like being in a little box, don't like getting outside the box, really don't like being a trendsetter, really don't like becoming a leader because it's in your nature to be a leader. If you're a man, if you're born a male, if it's in your nature to be a leader. That's what you're supposed to be striving to be, the best you can be at all times. In any situation and in any environment. A lot of these guys, they don't do that. They don't associate themselves with with guys of, of power and means. They, they don't do that. They, they like to stay in the box, keep to themselves, don't reach out to anybody. You know, if, as a matter of fact, a lot of these guys, they look at reaching out to other people for advice and help. They look at that as weakness. But the opposite is true. If you don't reach out to other people, if you don't seek out help, if you don't fellowship with other guys that's smarter than you and wiser than you, that's a sign of weakness. So, you know, they, they don't try to better themselves. Or they don't try to empower themselves. They just happy just to have a job. That's the loser mentality. You know, they just happy to have a nine to five job. They work five days a week, come home, look at TV. Can't wait until Friday comes because... All the butt kissing they done done during the week, and come Monday morning do the same thing over again, and they'll and this is a cycle of failure. This they might do this for five, ten, fifteen, twenty years, twenty five years, thirty years, and then they look back, and they have all types of regrets. They're sick, high blood pressure, and they can't figure out why, because. You have the loser's mentality. That's why. you know. So don't become one of these guys that I talked about in this video. So if you like this video, share this video. Subscribe. Check out my, my uh, book, my brand new book on Amazon.com, Boss Life Secrets. So the question of the day is this. Tell me something that you're going to do to empower yourself to be the best version you can be today. Leave your comments below this video. And anything you need help with, get at me. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.